If your Bermuda grass pasture or hayfield has a frosted appearance in the middle of summer, it may have been damaged by a new insect pest called the Bermuda grass stem maggot. If you look closely, you will see that the top two leaves have died on the upper part of each shoot. The death of these upper leaves while the lower leaves remain green causes the frosted appearance. The damage is caused by the feeding of the maggot, which is the immature stage of a fly. The fly is small, yellowish in color with dark legs and eyes. Bermuda grass stem maggot is native to South Asia, from Japan across to Pakistan and Oman. Somehow it made its way to the continental United States and was first found in Georgia in 2010. By the end of 2012, it was found throughout most of the southeast. The insect has also been accidentally introduced into Hawaii. The fly lays its eggs on the Bermuda grass stem near a node. Upon hatching from the egg, the immature fly, known as a maggot, moves to a node where it burrows into the stem and begins to feed upward from the node. This results in the death of the leaves above the feeding site, resulting in potential yield loss. The maggot is yellowish in color and grows to about one-eighth inch long. It may be hard to find the maggots because they have usually left the stem by the time the plant shows symptoms of damage. The shoot stops elongating as a result of the insect's feeding. In response to the damage, the plant grows another shoot from a lower node of the damaged shoot. The tip of the new shoot can also be attacked by later generations of the Bermuda grass stem maggot. There are multiple generations each summer. The fly has a life cycle that usually lasts about three weeks, but can be as short as 12 days. Your local agricultural cooperative extension agent can help you confirm if you have this pest and discuss what you can do about the problem.